put any flow we want. Like I said, everything is done from the computer, uh, and it's all arrowed to show you the, the flow. Uh, that's, this is into the clarifier, so we can see how many gallons per minute is coming in, going out. Make sure everything's operating, make sure everything's green. Uh, at any point in time, if something goes wrong in the process, right here is where you'll get the alarm to notify you, whether a well went out or etc. Um, right now everything's green, so that's good. But yeah, we adjust uh, our chemicals here. So there's our ferric, CO2, lime, sodash, and chlorine. You can see which tank's empty, which one's online. So, now there's an alarm that just went out, so I'm going to... Oh, we're all, get a little full. So if you were sitting in here, how would you know that? We have the... So we have... A remote access to SCADA on the cell phone. So a lot of times, if it's a major issue, it will notify the phone. Uh, you'll get a, we call it, it's a Win 911 call. The uh, recording robot sends you a message and they'll tell you, hey, so this is going on. This isn't a major issue, so this won't get transferred to the phone. Uh, this is just telling us our tower level is getting pretty high. So I'm going to turn the high service pump off so we don't overflow the tower, and it's as easy as push a button, and then you'll see it go red. But other than that, we can track all our trending. Uh, a lot of times overnight, if there's a fire or a main break, we'll pull up a trending, and we can actually see, you know, how much water was used uh, in that event. But the, I mean, you can go back as far as you want in the trending. It'll show you all the levels. Everything in the plant can be trended uh, through graphs. But uh, much nicer than the old plant, right? Well, on the old plant, you couldn't even you couldn't even monitor how much water was coming from each well. You know, like gallons per minute. Right. Because everything was broke. So yeah. You just pretty much straight. estimated. Yeah. Yeah, and here's all the flow statuses through the plant currently. So we're currently running 1,600 gallons a minute in, and we're running 1,180 gallons out. So basically we're going to work on filling these guys up now. But overnight at shutdown, the last shift guy, what he does is he comes here, and all he does is put the pump into auto, and it's programmed, I'll show you, that when a tower drops down to 34 feet, that's when that pump's going to kick on. That's when it's going to pull from your clear well. So it's going to fill it up to, we can set it to any level, but we fill it to 36 feet and then tell it to turn off. Because we want to, you know, get those towers to drain down some so we can put more fresh water in. If you're always full, you could run into a stale water situation. You want to take your levels down. How much do the seasons alter? Levels, like, you know, uh, you got the pad, the pool, now, quite drastically, really. Does it really? Yeah, I mean, in the winter, I mean, you're running maybe one million gallons a day, and now we're up to one four, one three, one four. Hmm. Splash pad makes a difference, but yeah. So in the winter time, we'll actually run with just one clarifier. Uh, we'll take the other one offline. That's when it's the best to clean them. Do all our servicing to them. Now, the old plant, the clear, the clear well is right in the ground. Okay. Yep. Yep. I don't know if it's.